And this is the uh, expander tool I was telling you about. I mean, if you're going to do quite a bit of this, and if you are a plumber, if you're interested in it, this this expander tool will save you a lot of time and money. And once that fitting is inside that PEX tubing around that coupling, and it shrinks back to where it's uh, where it's supposed to go, nothing's pulling that apart. From the Pro Expansion Tool to the Shark Bite Fitting, and all I'm going to do is take this pipe and just push it down in place, and it's going to lock and be sealed tight, no leaks. Okay, now we're back upstairs, and uh, this is in the closet on the back side of the shower. So I'm going to tie the new lines into here. Uh, I'm just going to make a cut on each side, about four cuts on each side, and then I'm going to slip the uh, shark bite tees, half inch tees, into place here. And the pex pipe will come from here and go back down into the... Uh, space up under the house which is the work area and like I said I've been in this house uh, under two years uh, this is the first time seeing the back of this I cut this open here and I see some stuff that they did this is the uh, this is the shark bite tee and these are my mini cutters that's for getting the little tight spaces like I said I've lived here less than two years and I'm seeing all kinds of things that uh, do need to be changed and uh, during the course of living here I will be making some changes on some of this stuff I'll probably be removing that um, tub and shower component component the uh, enclosure and of course we'll make some changes right here too Now, I've already made one cut. Now, I do have to make another cut. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to... I'm, I'm going to get back there and cut it. But what I'm doing now is just putting the uh, Shark Bite T, half-inch T, onto the uh, PEX pipe. Um, just in case I lose it and it tries to fall back down the hole, that T will catch and I can reach back out there and grab it. And it won't go all the way down to the uh, next floor. This is probably the hardest spot to work in. Uh, you can't see it, but it's a small, you know what little closet, the linen closet it's like behind the uh, 
Tobin shower, it's tight. Now this is what we call a reamer. Once you cut the copper pipe, there's going to be a small indentation going inside the pipe. It's very sharp, so you want to use the uh, reamer to ream out the access piece of pipe that's bridged in there and it's very sharp. And especially if you're going to use shark bites, you don't want any sharp edges. And another thing, if you've noticed, hot is always on the left and cold is always on the right. So if I flip this around and I was in the shower facing the shower wall, the side that I'm working on now is the hot. It would be the left side. And I'm sure you're probably wondering uh, when you connect the shark bites, when do you know it's in far enough? Uh, me personally, I've been doing it a while and I could, you know, actually feel it clicking in place. Uh, but there's always a good, another practice that you can use is to mark your uh, pipe, the depth that it's going to go into the... Uh, shark bite and once you're at that mark you know that you're in there As always, if you have any questions that you would like answered, or anything I can help you with, uh, leave uh, a message in the description box. Also, don't forget, this is a challenge. Give me uh, some type of idea of the best place that you would like to put a up flush toilet like this in your home, your garage, or where have you. And what you hear now is I turn the water back to the house on and I'm just kind of letting the lines bleed out and also coming up here to check for any possible leaks. And again, giving it the once over. Just kind of panning over the project that's going on. Almost everything is complete except for the drain on the uh, utility sink here. The lights you seen, those were my prop lights. Okay, this is the, the vent that I was telling you about earlier that has to be vented out separately. And it's going two feet above the window. And now I'm going to run the uh, drain line to the uh, utility sink which is going to be different than what I'm used to uh, normally I would put a sanitary tea right